Undoubtedly, when it comes to getting the most bang for your buck in the realm of motorcycles tailored for pure enjoyment, the Supermoto stands tall. Originally conceived as single-cylinder motocross machines repurposed into track racers for a televised U.S. race series during the 1970s, this ingenious idea was embraced by France, where it was rechristened Supermotor. Consequently, a wave of grassroots enthusiasts began crafting their street-legal versions of these bikes, a movement that ultimately birthed production models. While it's true that supermotos are essentially dirt bikes equipped with street-friendly tires, wheels, and brakes, their practicality is undeniably limited, no one dreams of embarking on a cross-country tour with a supermoto. However, what they lack in touring capabilities, they more than compensate for with their spirited, lightweight performance, nimble handling, and an abundance of excitement, exuding a hooligan-like charm. Supermotos also come in a variety of flavors, 125 cubic centimeters iterations designed for novice riders, mid-range models that provide ample fun, and full-throttled 600cc plus beasts engineered for hardcore enthusiasts. But the question remains, which one reigns supreme? We've curated a selection of the top 10 supermotos available, encompassing both brand new options and pre-loved classics. Hello beautiful people, welcome to Big Show TV, before going deep into the video, please subscribe per channel, and make sure to hit the like button, thank you. Husqvarna's 701 Supermoto takes its foundation from its sibling company, KTM 690 SMCR. However, the Husqvarna boasts distinct features such as taller gearing, unique wheels, suspension, and brakes. Notably absent are a rev counter and a fuel gauge, but let's be honest, who's concerned about those details when embracing the hooligan spirit? Effectively an incarnation of Husqvarna's 701 Enduro with a supermoto twist, this machine is propelled by a surprisingly enthusiastic 693 cubic centimeter single-cylinder engine, which now delivers a punchy 73 brake horsepower and showcases impressive mid-range and top-end power. Complementing this potent motor is commendable handling, a characteristic that's par for the course for a company renowned for producing adrenaline-fueled, race-ready supermotos. The 701 Supermoto lives up to its heritage, demonstrating a quick and eager nature, equally adept at navigating through congested urban streets as it is at dominating a go-kart track with sheer enthusiasm. The KTM 690 SMC R could be considered the fraternal twin of the Husqvarna 701 Supermoto, each bearing a distinct personality. While the 690 SMC R received a comprehensive update and refinement a few years back, it has retained its raw essence. Its 690 cubic centimeter single cylinder engine strikes a balance between smooth refinement, making it just about suitable for highway cruising though we wouldn't necessarily recommend it, and an insatiable appetite for spirited revving and play. Thanks to its top-notch, fully adjustable WP suspension, a potent four-piston Brembo front caliper, and the inclusion of a slipper clutch, the 690 SMC R refuses to be sluggish when it comes to diving into tight, intricate corners. In fact, when it comes to conquering winding and demanding roads or racetracks, the 690 SMC R stands as an uncompromising choice, ready to carve its own path with zeal. Staying true to the original Supermoto blueprint, which involves taking a dirt bike, in this case, Suzuki's capable DR-Z400S Enduro, and equipping it with narrower, smaller wheels, grippier tires, enhanced braking capabilities, and firmer suspension, the Suzuki SM burst onto the scene in 2005. It proudly upheld the supermoto tradition and remained one of the most remarkable Japanese supermotos until both the SM and DR-Z400S were discontinued in 2009. The SM may not boast staggering power figures, but it compensates with a commendable lightweight frame. Its prowess shines in all environments, offering superb handling, although it tends to run out of steam when confronted with long stretches of highway. In terms of reliability, the SM stands tall, but as is often the case with exuberant young riders, neglect can still lead to mechanical woes. 
It's worth noting that converted regular DR-Z400S hold a lower market value, and while big bore kits can increase performance, they may also introduce potential reliability concerns. In 2019, Ducati introduced the Hypermotor 950, marking the latest iteration of their V-Twin Street Bruiser legacy, which first revved its engines in 2007 with the air-cooled Hypermotor 1100. Along the way, we witnessed 796, 821, and 937 versions, each refining the concept. This V-Twin DNA gives the Hypermotor a substantial and versatile character, setting it apart from its peers. However, it remains a bike that truly comes alive when tackling winding mountain roads and attacking tight, twisty corners. This spirited machine boasts an ample supply of power, making it ideal for explosive bursts out of hairpin turns or even some playful front-wheel lofting. Its nimble steering and rider-friendly positioning provide a feeling of total control, allowing riders to effortlessly command its every move. And for those who crave even more aggression, Ducati offers the SP version, equipped with Marcassini wheels, extended travel aligned suspension, carbon fiber bodywork, and a Terminioni exhaust, available for a price of £15,551, further cementing its status as a mean machine on the streets. The CCM Spitfire, hailing from the British town of Bolton, continues its evolution with the Street Moto variant, adding another chapter to the popular Retromod Street Single Series. These remarkable machines share a common origin, an Exus Barna Enduro bike engine, which pumps out a lively 62 brake horsepower, and a meticulously handcrafted tubular steel trellis frame. The Street Moto takes its inspiration from the Supermoto genre, making it a perfect fit for urban roadsters. Equipped with 17-inch wheels, it exudes a supermoto spirit, featuring carbon fiber bodywork that includes side number boards and elevated MX handlebars. You'll find it available in four different eye-catching colors, with the option to upgrade to Brembo Twin Discs, a step up from the standard single J1 setup. Additionally, a range of CNC accessories can be selected to tailor the bike to your preferences, adding a personalized touch to this exceptional ride. Undoubtedly, the emergence of electric bikes is gaining traction, and they're even making headway into the supermoto realm. The FXE stands as one of the latest offerings from Zero, a prominent US electric motorcycle manufacturer. This model, unveiled in 2021, takes the baton from the previous FXS iteration, showcasing fresh styling in a lightweight, supermoto-inspired chassis. Weighing in at a claimed 135 kilograms, it ranks among the lightest electric motorcycles on the market. While its top speed is capped at 85 miles per hour to extend battery life, it compensates with a whopping 78 feet per lbs of torque, delivering impressive liveliness. Granted, its range might not be extensive, but let's face it, who embarks on long journeys with a supermoto? Furthermore, it's not the most budget-friendly option, but it offers one of the most enjoyable and accessible gateways into the realm of electric bikes. The FXE shines as a superb urban hooligan companion, ready to conquer the city streets with zest and style. Debuting in 2009 and regrettably discontinued by Yamaha in 2017, the WR125X stood as the apex of learner legal supermotos during its era, distinguished by its exceptional handling, spirited character, and top-notch construction. Even today, it continues to be in high demand among used bike enthusiasts. Under its sleek exterior, it packs a slick, liquid-cooled, fuel-injected four-stroke single-cylinder engine, ensuring a blend of power and efficiency. With its premium suspension, wheels, and brakes, the WR125X exudes a sense of quality and durability that few other Learner 125s can match. However, for those considering a used purchase, it's paramount to choose one that has been well-maintained over the years. A cherished WR125X promises not just a thrilling ride but also lasting value in the world of Learner Legal Supermotos. 
The Italian SX, initially introduced in 2008 and treated to a substantial overhaul in 2018, is arguably the cream of the crop among the four-stroke learner-compliant supermotos currently on the market. Derived from the Aprilia RS125 sport bike, it inherits the robust 15-brake horsepower liquid-cooled four-stroke single-cylinder engine. However, it sports a bespoke chassis that it shares with its sibling, the RX125 trail bike. Decked out with 17-inch wire wheels, an LCD dashboard, and a plethora of Italian style and quality details, the Italian SX makes a lasting impression. Remarkably, it doesn't just excel in aesthetics and performance, it also manages to offer impressive value for its segment. This combination of style, quality, and affordability makes the Italian SX a standout choice among the four-stroke learner supermotos. Hailing from the renowned Spanish lightweight motorcycle manufacturer, Rieju, the MRT125 LCSM is their more budget-friendly offering in the 125 cubic centimeters supermoto category, they also offer 50 cubic centimeters and top-tier marathon variants. It boasts style, fun, and a lightweight build, making it an enviable choice for novice riders. Previously, Rieju's models were powered by two-stroke engines, but they've made the transition to liquid-cooled four-stroke single-cylinder motors. However, given the 15-brake horsepower learner restriction, the overall appeal remains largely unchanged. The MRT125 LCSM features cast 17-inch wheels, eye-catching styling, reliable disc brakes, and more. It's worth noting that Rieju's dealer network might not be as extensive as some competitors, which could be a minor downside. Nevertheless, for those seeking an attractive and engaging first bike in the 125 cubic centimeter supermoto category, the MRT125 LCSM from Rieju remains a compelling option. Real supermotos were always single-cylinder bikes until the SVX appeared with two and cleaned up in racing. The engine's what makes the Aprilia special. The extra cylinder means less vibration and more oomph, but it's an impressively compact and lightweight unit which makes it 70 brake horsepower, with race exhaust, amazing compared to bulkier V-twins like Suzuki's SV650. This helps the bike weigh in at a featherweight 128 kilograms. Mix in rapid geometry and it's an evil tool that's madder than leader sports. It's more civilized than the Larry Singles, comes in full road trim and only needs a service every 1800 miles, although the 5,500 mile check involves new pistons and more. If you've got the Dosh, it's the best combination of usable and loopy in today's supermoto market. There's a 450 cubic centimeters version available too.